Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So one thing that people mention in the comments of my videos whenever I'm working out at the ranch and I show like a, a wide angle shot is the lack of trees. You know, we've got hundreds of acres and maybe a couple dozen trees. And they're mostly just the scrubby little junipers. And that didn't used to be the case. There used to be giant uh, Douglas fir and uh, pinion pine and of course loads of junipers all over. But just over the years, fire has removed most of the trees. I think the last big uh, Douglas fir burned in uh, 1998. Growing up at the ranch, I would hear family members talking about uh, all the trees that are now gone and also the effects of having them missing. Uh, you see, uh, without the trees, the wind is able to blow more effectively. Even though it's a mountainous area, without the trees, the mountains are now smooth and the wind just runs right across them. With the trees there, it was less windy. Also, snow would accumulate like down between the trees and the shade produced by the trees would keep the snowpack around for longer. So the ground would stay wet longer into the spring because the snow would just be melting slowly rather than all melt in just a couple of days as soon as the sun hit. Also, when we do get like big storms, like uh, we don't usually get a lot of rain, but sometimes we'll get like six inches of rain in like a few hours. And when that happens, usually you've got boulders the size of cows rolling down the hill uh, in the torrent of water. Uh, back with the trees, the trees would stop that and there wouldn't be giant flash floods. You might occasionally get a trickle going through, but it'd usually not be carrying giant boulders. And so I want to bring the trees back. This is going to be a huge project. Uh, it's going to be thousands of trees, but I think my goal for this year is to kind of start small and only do about a hundred trees. And then maybe next year I'll ramp up and plant a thousand trees, you know, etc. If, say, I go plant a hundred trees and I do something wrong and most of them die, then I can learn my lesson and not have a huge financial loss while doing it. So now, where to get the trees? Uh, for the junipers, it'll be pretty easy. You know, there's still junipers at the ranch. I can just go dig up some of the little sprouts that are coming up underneath the big trees. And uh, because of their location, they're never going to grow anyway. So transplant them somewhere else so they will grow. Uh, the Douglas fir and the other trees types are going to be a little bit more tricky uh, since there are none left. So I'll probably have to ask permission to one of my uh, neighbors see if they'll let me go uh, dig trees up on their property. In the coming years though when I'm planting more trees I will have to either start from seed or purchase the seedlings from some company that uh, produces them in bulk. So let's go get some trees. Alright, so I've hiked up into an area that hasn't burned, at least not recently, and uh, got this tree here. You can see there's some baby trees coming up underneath of it. Kind of digging around the tree, like this, to bust off the roots, and then hit in underneath. Do the same. Hopefully the camera's not shaking too much. I break that off. Hopefully we got enough dirt on those roots. Alright, here's my bucket of trees. I'll go put them in some pots now. Make sure I give them a drink. The soil they were growing in was very dry, so I'm worried that they're drying out. Should have brought some water with me. Oh well, let's get them down to the house quickly. I'm just gonna transfer them into these uh, little uh, cardboard pots. You know, pack some dirt around it. So you can see all of the uh, trees that I've dug up and potted over the last little while. And all of these are going to get planted out at the ranch uh, just after the snow starts flying. You can see I've got the Douglas fir, juniper, uh, some pinion pines, box elder. Uh, I've also got a pineapple back there, but that's not related. <laughs> so now I just uh, wait a few months for the trees to recover, and then uh, once the weather gets uh, cold and wet, I'll go plant them out at the ranch. Uh, you may have noticed that the trees were basically yanked out of the ground. 
you know, the roots go way deeper than the amount that I could dig, at least in a reasonable amount of time. And I didn't film it, but I added some uh, rooting powder to their roots because I'm basically treating them like cuttings at this point. Uh, you know, I'll keep them moist and uh, hopefully they take root. So, I'll see you guys at the ranch. You can see there's uh, my top bar beehive over there. And I've uh, carried all the junipers over in this uh, plastic tote. And I'm going to plant one right here. And a few along those rocks. And other places where I think they'll both get a little extra water and also be protected from fire. Right. Just dig a little hole. The ground's very rocky. Now these junipers don't seem to mind. This hillside used to be completely covered with them. After I get these planted, what I'm going to have to do is every year come by and clear away the grass and brush away from the trees, even prune the tree, so it's less likely to burn if a fire rips through here. I can also put these rocks kind of around the tree to keep the grass from growing right up next to it. Okay, the hole should be big enough. Let's pull that piece of grass out of the pot. Set that down in there. You notice I'm planting it just a little bit lower than ground level. That way snow and water accumulates on the tree. And by the time the ground levels up, it'll be, the tree will be grown up a little bit. And there's the tree. And uh, here's the little tag I'll be using to mark it. So you can see Utah Juniper 2018. I'm naming it after Jeremy, one of my patrons. Let's just uh, bang that into the ground a little bit. Now, the stick will rot away eventually, and if I haven't done something else with a tag by then, at least you'll be able to find it with a metal detector. So I've come over to the other side of the mountain. We're now on the uh, north facing slope. You can see I'm now planting these Douglas fir trees. Uh, you might also be able to tell that the style of tag has changed slightly. That's because Canyon actually did these for me. I think from now on I'm going to have her do all of them. Her handwriting is substantially better. I may replace the tags if I find a better method. And certainly if the tree dies, then what my plan is to take the tag, you know, pull it off the stick, melt it down, and then do another one. They're, they're pretty cheap. So here's a little bit of aerial footage that my dad took using the drone. He flew over and found me. You can see that it's getting kind of dark. It took way longer to plant the trees than I was expecting. In fact, I planted it until it was too dark to see. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the trees planted, but I'll plant the rest here pretty soon. You can see me taking a photo of the tree as long with its uh, GPS coordinates. I would like to make it clear that the names on the trees are just literally the name of the tree. It's mostly for my reference. I don't want people coming and trying to find their tree. This was just something that I thought would be more fun than just giving them all a random number designation. I won't release the GPS coordinates, but I'll post all the photos of the trees that I did plant this weekend on the end of this video. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.